Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? This is an iron cat. This is a cast iron. A pan that I've had for oh over a year. <laughs> I at least a year, like a little over a year. I know I've had it for going on a bit already. I really like it. It's a little on the heavy side, but you know, you have to use an oven mitt. Like once it's been going and cooked stuff, like you gotta make sure you use an oven mitt or a towel when you handle it because the whole thing will be hot. But you know what? That's a tiny little con compared to all the pros of a cast iron. The biggest reason I bought it was for my uh, health. It's just more healthy than to use a non-stick pan. So I wanted to um, share a few reasons why why you should consider using a cast iron a pan or skillet, whatever you want to call it. So the first reason is it's well it's been used for thousands of years and I would still say it's once well even when I do a little bit of research I don't it kinda it seems kinda weird why more more people don't don't use it more often in their in their cooking. Everybody just like it's just like almost convenience over practicality and then say almost nowadays a man like kind of close but another reason why a cast iron skillet is beneficial no toxic fumes and while you cook like while well, I like that's one of the reasons I switched to um I think some of you guys kind of know it's not it's actually not in the long run super great for your health to use all these non-stick. Plus, I don't know about you guys, I find with non-stick I still have to put a little oil or something to grease it a little because stuff will still stick to it. <laughs> maybe, maybe the first few times it won't when it's brand new, but it doesn't take long. And cast irons are non-stick. Well, I would still recommend putting a bit of oil on in it first when you're cooking. I do. <coughs> oil or butter, I use uh, olive oil. And that um, really helps it. <coughs> Sorry. Just that extra stuff to make it non-stick. It cleans up easy is another reason. I'd say that's another reason why I use oil, so just so I don't get stuff sticking to it. I mean, like, while it's true, I just while it's true that you that you can't really use that you're not supposed to use soap or or any kind of cleaning, like nothing abrasive. You can't scratch at it a lot, but but I would say. But I would say if you know how to cook things, like I'd say use oil, if you just, um, what I do is I let it, after I'm done cooking, I let it cool off for a bit. I rinse it, I rinse it with water for a bit. Oh, that's another thing you can't have. You can't, like, pour water in it and let it sit. You're not supposed to do that either. So I let it cool down a bit, then I rinse it out with water a few times. But I empty all the water, and then I... And that just helps me just wipe it down and I just I just make sure I really wipe it down and rinse it. <clears throat> I would say it's um, inexpensive. I'm probably going to end up having this cast iron skillet much longer than what a non-stick pan would last me. And another reason, it browns food beautifully. I would say it's... It does, give, it does give me more of a peace of mind knowing I'm cooking my food in a much healthier way. 
by avoiding non-stick pans. And I would say, yes, it really does cook food better. Food really does taste better. And coming from the cast iron skillet. Another great use for a cast iron, you can use it at a campfire. Because it makes a great grill, too. I know some restaurants, like it might not be cast iron, but some of them, they have like a like a flat, similar surf surface to a grill for what they use, so it's... And we know from, like, grills at fast food restaurants, I know the type of grill they use, and whether it's flame or just a burner, or it does make a difference in the taste and quality of the food. You know, another good use for cast iron, you can cook multiple things at once. Okay, well that's anything. But another beneficial reason to use a cast iron skillet, which I found out a little bit later, is uh, it helps to boost your iron intake. Which for me, I don't have a problem with low iron, but I know I gotta, I gotta make sure I don't let my iron drop too low because I, because I don't eat a lot of red meat, so. And from, um, when I've had my blood tested, my iron's not, like, super low, but I've got to make sure I try to keep it up. So I take, I take an iron supplement, too. And I try to eat a variety of foods. But, so, yeah, like, that. Yeah, there you have it. That's why I, myself, definitely, I would much prefer... A cast iron skillet to a non-stick. And I really think you guys should consider giving it a try too. You know, there's so much pollution out there and we're exposed to so much toxic chemicals as it is. Like, this is really just like one small change, even if you might not cook with it some of the time. All the time, like maybe at least some of the time. Like, you know, <laughs> I think some of the stuff, some of the ways and methods that people used to do way in the past, I think it's still beneficial nowadays. And I just thought to myself too, like, do you really want to sacrifice convenience, like, over your health? Something I. <clears throat> just thought about more and more like non-stick pans versus stuff like cast iron I mean sometimes you just gotta do stuff that help out your health like, so that's all for this video thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one thanks bye